What's up y'all, in this video I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily cut out athletes in Photoshop. So right here I have my image, it's a smart object, it's a picture of LeBron in AD and what I'm going to do is duplicate that, turn this one off, turn this layer into a rasterized layer and then click remove background. And to make sure we see everything that we've removed, I'm gonna make a solid green color that's kind of like midway brightness. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna control click this layer mask over here and put that onto the smart object because the smart object won't lose quality. You wanna make whatever you put in a smart object if you can and keep it that way. So I'm gonna delete this other one that I made, take the smart object, click on the, the layer mask and then use the brush tool on the left at full hardness. Make sure this is on black because that's going to remove and I'm going to paint away AD because we're just going to cut out LeBron for the sake of the video. And so what you're going to do is just go around and um, make sure it's cut out in all the right places. So Photoshop does a pretty good job about, about knowing where to cut out, but it's not always perfect. So what I'm going to do here is I duplicated that layer, deleted the layer mask, and turned the opacity on this layer up just a little bit to show me where to paint back in. So you can kind of see what needs to be painted back in and where it needs to go. A little bit of the shoe right there is missing, a little bit right there, and a little bit over here. And what I do a lot is I hold down shift and click along the edges and that will keep the brush moving in a straight line which makes it easier and quicker. And then obviously the black brush is going to hide it and the white brush is going to show it. So anytime you want to take away anything, you just click that X, which will change it to black. Click the X again, change it to white. I'm going to add it back. I'm going to take away all these wrinkles in the socks because they're just annoying me. And I'm too lazy to keep all the wrinkles. And we can remove this little piece right here. And you can use the bracket keys to make your brush bigger and smaller. So you can either leave it like that or you can make it. I usually have one like that, duplicate it, and then turn it into a smart object and then edit it how I want. And just for the sake of the video, I'll do one more but with a more detailed shot of Tom Brady. So we have Tom Brady, duplicate the layer, uh, rasterize the layer, you're gonna go to properties, click remove background. It does a pretty good job even with his hair. If it doesn't do a good job with the hair, you might want to use a brush that kind of resembles hair to paint that back in or to remove where you want it. Most of the time I don't have to do that and if there's something wrong I'll just use a regular brush like I'm using right now to uh, kind of fix it the way I want it. So the remove background left out a little bit, but we're just gonna go in and use the brush just like we just did and paint that out. Obviously you can tell a lot better when you have a higher quality image uh, what needs to be taken away and what needs to stay. Again, I'm just shift, holding down shift and then clicking along the edges to make the brush continue. And as you can see, there's some green right here shining through. That's why you have the background layer to show you. You wanna leave the edges a little bit rough sometimes because it is hair, so it's not gonna be perfectly smooth. But down here, here, you can kind of make it perfectly smooth. So up here you can see there's like a little bit of uh, faint stuff we can remove. I'm just going to kind of leave most of the hair as it is and go around it. Sometimes it's better to use a soft brush on hair which makes it, makes it more realistic. It's more whimsy anyway. You can double click on the layer mask and that will pull up this tab. And you can use this slider to shift the edge in or out. You can use this contrast slider to make the cutout harder or softer so right now it's a pretty soft edge around the hair but the more I move this in the harder the edge is so you can see the hair going from soft to hard so I kind of like to make it you know pretty contrasty because soft edges are not great to deal with especially with like around the body and not the hair like on his shoulder right here that's kind of a softer edge whereas if you slide it up a little bit the edge is a little more crispy which is better and then feather basically just makes the edge soft again and smooth i don't use this one too much this one will just make all of the edges less rough but it also makes them less detailed which can be good or bad depending on what you're doing uh, obviously for the hair it's not working but like for other places over here it looks a bit better because it's smoother so yeah, you can play around with those sliders. Usually I keep it smooth pretty low and usually I bump the contrast up a little bit and that's most of the time all that I mess with. Go ahead and click on the next video in the playlist to see how I edit high quality images to make them look the best that they can and not overdo it like some beginners tend to do.